Hello, have a good day. Uh, this is the third homework of the data science, and in this homework, we're gonna do the lab 3.3 with Amazon. In this homework, the lab overview is in this lab, you will encode categorical variables, you will use the automobile data sets from the UC Arvin machine learning repository. This data sets work well because it contains many categorical features. And okay. The first the starting lab and going into the ABS. Uh, okay op we are opening the Amazon SageMaker then then open Jupyter Lab. Okay, we are using the 3.3 machine learning and lab complete part in here. Okay, I'm starting the lab now. And I will stop the recording while I'm waiting for the opening. After opened, I will restart the video. Okay, it's in creation. Okay, it's Okay, hello again, and lab set is ready now, and let's open the AWS. And we're going to, okay, okay, SageMaker in here. And we are coming to was notebook I guess let me check okay services SageMaker and let expand okay notebook instances and open uh, where was it yeah oh oh okay not in domain okay network notebook instances Jupyter lab was it yeah, Jupyter Lab. Okay, I'm waiting for the opening. Okay, in here, English United States three point three. Yeah, okay, three point three. Let's open this one and let's open the yeah Conda Python three yeah Conda Python three. Okay, this is our instance. Gas, diesel, and standard turbo. These are okay convertible hatchback sedan, and these are the our data set. Okay. Okay, there's nothing to we're gonna do in here. Let's open the this part. Okay, the last overview. This lab does not continue the healthcare provider scenario. Instead, you will work with data from automobile data set. In this lab, you will encode original categorical data, in encode non-original categorical data. And about the data set. Okay. Spef specification of an automobile in terms of the various characteristic it's assigned insure risk rating and it's normalized it loses in the use compared to other cars the second rating corresponds to the degree which it, the automobile is riskier than its price indicates car initially assigned uh, risk factor symbol that associates with its price then if it's riskier or less risky the symbol is adjusted by moving it up or down the scale. Occurrence called the process symboling. A value of plus 3 indicates the car is risky. A value of minus 3 indicates that the car is probably safe. The third factor is relative average loss payment per insured vehicle year. This value is normalized for all cars within a particle size classification. 
two-door small, station wagons, sports or specially and others. It represents the average loss per car per year. And not the several attributes in data set could be used as class attributes. Okay, the range of symboling is minus three to plus three. Normalized loses continuous from sixty-five to two hundred fifty-six and fuel type diesel or gas, aspiration standard or true, number of doors, body style, drive wheels, engine location, wheelbase, length, width, height, curb weight, engine type, uh, number of cylinders, engine size, fuel system, bore, stroke, compression ratio, horsepower, peak RPM, steer MPG, highway MPG, and price continues from 5,000 to 45,000. And the step one is uh, importing and exploring the data. We are starting with examining the data in the data set and to get the most out of the lab, read the instruction and code before you run the cells. Take time to explain. Okay. We are just importing the pandas and displaying the rows in here. And let me run it. Yeah. Let me run it too. And this is column names and symbolic normalized losers. Actually, I guess I. Why well, I cannot run it now? I guess I have the bad connection right now. And data doesn't contain a header, so you will define those columns, names, variable, column names, attributes in the data set. Okay, we are. These are the column names which is displayed in here. So we have to declare it to the heaven, this one. And data frame shape, let me run it, okay. Oh yeah, actually this is not open again, another one. That's why. The car shape, what is the, what kind of values in here? There's a 25 to 200. Oh, sorry, 200, what was the value? Yeah, 205. And as I said, there is a 25 columns in here, and let me run the info part. These are the values about, these are the information about the data set, the columns, actually. And these are the columns, which is given in here, actually. Actually, these are given the same values in here, but in the another shape. Let's run it. Did I run it? Yeah, I run it. Let me run it here. Okay, the hat part, the first five value in the or import situation in here, the first five value. I'm oh, sorry. Like in here. And the most machine learning algorithm recovery inputs that are numerical values, the number of cylinders and number of doors features have an ordinal value. You couldn't convert the values of these features into their numerical counterparts. However, aspiration and drive wheels don't have ordinal value. These features must be converted differently. And encoding ordinal features, let me run it here. These are the ordinal values. Let me run it through. Okay. There are hundred for teen for doors and eighty nine to doors car. And you can use a replace method from pandas to generate a numerical value column based on the number of doors column. In here and let me run it through. It's given to the Load value in doors. Okay. The number of cylinders there are here. It's given the values actually. There are 12 cylinders is only one car and four cylinder is 159. And let me run it to in 
here for more information about the replace method okay it's given just a replace method in here and encoding non-ordinal categorical data in this step you will encode the non-ordinal data by using the get dummies method from pandas the two remaining features are not ordinal according to the attribute description the following values are possible aspiration is standard and turbo the drive wheels for and forward and right back you might think that correctly suggest to convert these values into numerical values for example consider the drive wheels feature you could use for vd as one and fwd for two and rwd for three however isn't less than idv these values do not have any order it's just uh, actually one two three uh, only for the representing something not about the uh, numerical values the correct strategy is convert these values to binary features for the each value in the original feature this process is often called one hot encoding in machine learning or dumbing in statistics pandas converted get dummies method which converts the data into binary features for more information see pandas that get dummies in the pandas documentation according to the attribute description drive wheels has three possible values as we represent in here one two or three and yeah okay let me run it these are given the values in here and uh, within the get dummies value let's read it in here yeah this is given the values we can think it is 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 or 0 1 0 1 0 0 actually we can represent it like this one too and okay. the encoding was straightforward if the value is the drive wheels columns is for VD then a 1 is the value of the drive wheels for vd column a0 is the value for the other columns that were generated if the value in the drive wheels column is fwd then a1 is the value in the drive wheels fwd column and so on these binary features enable you to express information in a numerical way without implying any order examine the final column that you will encode the data aspiration column only has two values standard and turbo you could encode this column into binary features however you could also ignore the standard value and record whether it is turbo or not so it's ex basically saying if it's turbo represent with one it is not the turbo represent with the zero uh, in binary values to do this you will use the get dummies method by specific drop first as true okay let me run all of them okay in true it, it is expression turbo it's not true it's standard we can understand it as like this one uh, go back to beginning of the slab and add all columns to the data set how could the anchor those columns and features okay and if i go to the beginning of it okay uh, actually we can represent the fuel type diesel and gas with zeros and ones we, we already done it we can actually make it four and two you four and two we can represent them with the binaries as one or three we can make them we can represent them as re binary system like only one zero 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 and zero one 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 four eight one and yeah engine location we can do it actually all of the other ones we can represent the non-numerical values with the binary system and thanks for the listening have a good day